celebrity, you never know what people really think about you. And sometimes every celebrity wishes they heard one thing, the truth. And thanks to our amazing makeup artist, we're giving it to them. Right now, we're gonna transform two fabulously famous celebrities into everyday Joes and send them undercover so they can hear what real people think of them. Ice-T keeps it real? This is ridiculous. Dumbass. But is he still a tough guy on SVU? No, no, I'm sorry. The little guy was right on the borderline of getting his ass kicked. Yeah. Right, because Ice-T's name's on it. That's probably what I'm get. I was ready to punch him in the face. Do you think she's just boobs and butts? Absolutely. I don't even know if I want to go hit her or hug her. I think better than Coco for me to show. So do you think you're better than Coco? Yeah! Oh my God. This is Celebrities Undercover. You might know me from a lot of things. You know, I was in rap music. I had a few gold and platinum albums. After that, I moved off into films where I had a lot of hit successful films. And now I think I'm even more recognizable than ever because of Law & Order. I mean, I'm probably on TV right now, some damn way. I actually am. That's right, I'm Ice Mother T. So the question is, with all this success that I have achieved, do people see me as a success or a sellout? Ice-T's mission is to see, do his fans see his success as a sellout? Today, it's gonna give me a chance to see how people really feel about me. You know, it's kinda like getting to go to your own funeral. It should be fun. To find out if people think Ice-T is a sellout, we're conducting our very own focus group for a line of products with Ice-T's name. What these people don't know is that Ice-T is sitting right next to them. Thank you for coming. So is this the first time you guys have ever been in a focus group? Yeah. Okay, great. Our accomplice Sharon will be running today's focus group. What we do is we talk to a lot of high-end musicians, high-end recording artists, and we start to develop products for them. Now we're gonna talk about products from an artist and an actor named Ice-T. Are you guys familiar with Ice-T? Yeah. Okay, okay, great. I was trying to keep away from eye-to-eye -eye contact. You know, I didn't want to blow up the spot. Now when you think of Ice-T and the brand of Ice-T, like, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Go. Rapper. Bling bling. Money. There you go. Streets. I'm not even familiar. I've seen him in the car. Oh, you have? Yes. Okay. And he didn't wave. Right. <laughs> Wait, you waved at him and he didn't wave back My daughter at you? was all, and he just looked straight ahead and then he Did looked he at her? our car after he passed. I said, okay. Despicable. Hey. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't see you. I usually try to wave at everybody, but I had a bad experience waving at people when I was driving my car. I was rolling down Sunset, and some people pulled up next to me, and I waved at them, and I rear-ended the car right in front of me. And they just waved at me as they waved off into the Sunset, and I ended up getting sued. So, so what, what do you think of Ice-T? What's your opinion? How do you feel I, about it? I don't really have much of an opinion. I've never really heard his music or anything. Are you an SVU fan? Uh, no. I guess he's a cop now. Yeah. He was a rapper. Yeah. Um, I'm not a cop. I'm about as far from a cop as you can get. I'm an actor, and actors play characters they're not. So you want my opinion? Yes, uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Here we go. In every go. aspect of Ice Cube's career, he's been portrayed as this hard interview. Ice Cube, we'll talk about Ice T, boo. No, I, Ice don't Cube's confuse somebody. the two, they're two totally different people. <laughs> Dumbass. I see his career, he's always been portrayed as a hard individual. So for him to put his name on some of these, like, excuse my language, soft ass products. But is he still a tough guy on SVU? No, no, I'm sorry. Some say honesty is the best policy, but in this kid's case, it could lead to a punch in the face from Ice T. Hmm. Hey, let's look at the first product Ice T's Ice T. <laughs> Would you like to sample it? Well, that's a no brainer right there. So. Yeah, I feel like it's a no brainer as well. Wait, um, is there high fructose corn syrup in there? No, there is not. Okay, my body's a temple, you know? <laughs> I hear ya. Is it too sweet or is it, you know, is it something that you could see yourself buying? Yeah, it's just right. It's not, not a lot of sweetness, more lemon. Now, do you think this is something that I should get behind? Well, not with who he is, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Well, how do you see Ice? It's going to be like crunk juice. Well, your John crunk juice is going to be something that's going like, to throw a lot of money into and it's not going to do so well. His name like, is Ice Tea. I mean, well, I'm sorry, I, mean, I would it buy it. It kind of makes sense. I'd be like, are you serious? Ice Tea and I just don't want to know yeah. else. But well, if they're going to pay him to do it, he goes from, as they say, keeps it real. And now he's all of a sudden he's doing iced tea. I just, I don't know. I don't buy it. In this business, you have to have thick skin to be in the public eye. Let's go to our next product. Iced tea's wheat teas. <laughs> no, really Why are you laughing? <laughs> That's just funny. He is really, he is really doing it. No, he really is doing it. No, he's doing ice wheaties? No, iced tea's wheat teas. Iced tea's wheat teas. These aren't things Ice has agreed to do yet. No, he hasn't agreed to do them yet, but he hired us to find out what you guys are going to respond to. So he just needs money then? No, he doesn't need money. Oh, like, we're, oh. we're looking to make him money. I don't know. I mean, it just seems like a far cry from how he started off. You know, it's like yeah, I don't think, though. I think this is a joke. Like, yeah, he... he, he 
Yeah, you know what I mean? It's kind of ridiculous for him to be peddling. I guess the free toy would be like... You know, nice. stuff that helps people go to the back. Can I ask a question? How yeah. much money do they offer? $800,000. Okay, just per product. So if he picks more than one product, it's going to be over a million dollars. I don't think he's my... desperate like that. But... I wouldn't call $800,000 desperate. They're approaching high tea. <laughs> there you go. You should sell condoms. I, wouldn't even, I mean, that's more applicable to me. This is ridiculous. Puts his name on, on a Wheaties. Hey, it becomes Flaky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Flaky. That's, 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 that's a good line. About... Let's go to one more product, John. Ice teas, white teas. All right, that's now, yeah, t-shirt. Now, you did a good job with that one. <laughs> there there it is. is. Uh, no logos, no nothing. Yeah. Now, I, I can see you doing that with that one. I can yeah. see him taking it from Pass there. Pass it around so everybody can touch it? Yeah, I can see that. You know, because everybody wears the white tees in Los Angeles. That is Ice tea. Congratulations. Okay, thank you. I guess it's not selling out if it's something you want to buy. Okay, so um, let's get another product. Iced tea Smarties. Okay, um, they do taste a lot like the actual Smarties. Halloween is now eclipsed Christmas. These it's are good. worse than the Wheaties. Are they? I'm sorry. Yeah. It's worse. These are good. I don't know. It's, it's the most generic old school candy possible. Old, old school yeah. artist peddling old school candy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go to the next product, iced tea, iced coffee. Oh my god. Okay, now, here's the thing. The ice, everybody has a drink. Everybody. Yeah. It's the most nice. disgusting yeah. coffee I've ever tasted. Like, ice tea's name's on it. That's probably why it's not so good. The little guy that was to the right of me that was right on the borderline of getting his ass kicked, I was ready to punch him in the face. Coming up on Celebrities Undercover. We're talking peep show in Vegas, girls. Let's step it up. Be Coco, be Coco. Is that really Coco to you? I don't even know if I want to go hit her or hug her. I don't know. You gotta be better than Coco for putting in a show. You think you're better than Coco? Yeah! She's married iced tea and she's big butt. Is that it? Is that everything? <sighs> Rapper and actor Ice-T is taking on one of his biggest and toughest roles yet. A dopey white guy in the middle of a focus group. Thanks to our makeup team, these people have no idea the tough guy that they're bagging on is sitting right next to them. Let's see if Ice-T can get the answer to his question. Do people think he's selling out? I see ice coffee. It's the most ice disgusting coffee, coffee yeah. I've ever tasted. Well, yeah. Not very good. Not very good. It's probably because yeah. yeah. I see his name's on it. That's probably why it's not so good. The little guy that was to the right of me that was right on the borderline of getting his ass kicked, I was ready to punch him in the face. Final, let's get final thoughts for the day, and then we're going to wrap it up if you think Ice Tea is a sellout and if you should endorse any of these products. I think it all makes him a sellout, in my no. opinion. Hey, it's a million dollars. Yeah. It's a lot of money. But I agree with you. I yeah. think that it is selling out. Here's my question for you. If you were to turn your back on music and start acting, would that make you a sellout? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Selling out is when you do something that's totally against what you believe. When I did Tank Girl and I played a kangaroo, people were like, that's selling out. I'm like, I ain't got against kangaroos. Yeah, I don't think this makes him a sellout. I just think this makes him a richer guy and a smarter businessman for branding certain products like the t-shirt. And you're not mad at him for not waving at you, are you? Oh, no, I still love him. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, All right. Long Island iced teas in the t-shirt, so make sure they're v-necks. No one wears crew necks anymore. It's weird. Right. Package it with the CD, the, the t-shirt. Yeah, maybe, it's it's the, maybe if something like that came with the new album. All right, you tell huh? me. Me? Yeah. Well, I, I still like him, but I mean, come on. He, he already has enough money. He was just like, well, let me have enough money. Why does he need more money? He didn't come from my neighborhood. I got a million broke on my line. I, I, I disagree. I, 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 I have strong I have strong feelings about this. I don't feel anyone who comes from poverty could ever be considered selling out because they're just taking advantage of opportunity. I didn't know Ice-T when I came, but I see that he's gained a lot of respect from people. I'm very happy for him, especially because I am Ice-T. <laughs> Yeah, you was about to get shot. <laughs> he came real close to dissing me, cuz, but I love you. Oh he came God. real close. And he takes off his wig and says, hey, I'm Ice-T. I literally thought he was going to beat my ass. Oh this guy God. right here. He's so serious. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man, I was so... Yeah, well, you know. And I knew that white guy could talk like that. I was like, what the hell is wrong with his voice? I've seen him before, but he refused to wave. So this makes up for that day. Oh, yeah, I, I remember her. I didn't wave at you on purpose. Oh, my. <laughs> I said, I'll take everything I said back. You should just make everything you want to make. <laughs> I was definitely surprised. He just kind of, like, blended into the background, you know? It was like, hope I wasn't, like, talking too much trash. I pulled off the wig and saw him catch their chest and went like, oh, he's right here, you know what I'm saying? I was totally prepared for somebody to say, ice tea's a sucker, he's a sellout, I don't like him. But there was no true-blooded haters in the room. Is ice tea a sellout? I could give a what you think.
And now, on to our next celebrity and Ice T's better half. Hi, I'm Coco. I'm a TV star, actress, model, dancer, and I have my own Vegas show. So I want to know do people know anything about me other than being Ice T's wife? Coco's mission is to find out do people see her as a trophy wife or a talented triple threat? Today, we are casting for a Coco body double in my show, Peep Show. And there's going to be some dancers auditioning, and I'm going to be one of those dancers. I came up with a character called Mitzi. If I change my laugh, change my voice, change my look, I'll be able to trick some people. Today, I'm going to find out how the world really sees me. Today's fake audition is for the position of Coco's body double in her big Las Vegas show. Little do these dancers know, Coco is in the room. Let's do four and four. Gillespie is playing our choreographer. Very big. You gotta pull out all the stops. And Sharon took on the role of casting director. Oh! Did I forget to mention that Ice-T couldn't resist joining us for Coco's prank? He and his son are watching everything from behind the scenes in our control room. So this is uh, for Vegas? Now, one person has ever come up to me and put me down or said something bad about me to my face. It's all been behind closed doors. So I'm just nervous what I may hear. This is Coco we're talking about. Oh, man, I got a, got a few homies on that, man. Oh, damn, you're doing three homies. All right. Okay, this is good. Now, what this is about is this is for Coco's show, which is a peep show in Las Vegas. So what you're going to do is you're going to be doing a little bit of moves, and it's not like major, major dancing, but it's really fun. So we're going to have like a sea of Cocos that take the stage, and then all of a sudden out through the middle, you know, first Coco. Let's dance, ladies. Five, six, seven, eight. Bam! Walk, walk. Walk, walk, and turn. I noticed you guys aren't turning the way I'm turning. Something like that. So it's gonna be real, you know, and then throw that character into it. Do any of us look like Coco? I think I need to pad my butt. Okay, so start down, the booby shake. <laughs> Okay, like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Here's the thing. I feel like you need to try to channel her and almost, you know, she's a very unique person. I don't know how much you know about her. So there I'm going to have you guys... Oh, okay. There See? it is. That's what we like. What? I guess I'll start with the gal with no clothes on. Yeah. You want to go first? Because sure. I feel like you're kind of getting it. I feel like you're too covered up. Right? Yes, we're talking peep show in Vegas, girls. Let's Make step it up. It. Let's step it up. Oh, okay. Fantastic. I would never personally ever do that. Uh, right, Coco. You'd never do that. <laughs> what do you know about Coco? She seems sweet and down to earth. She's open-minded. She doesn't care what people think about her curve. She's like, I've, I've got it. Let me flaunt it. Be Coco. Be Coco. What do you think Coco is? <laughs> is that really Coco to you? But I would like to say, hey. Do you really think this of me? Um, okay, what's your name? Victoria. Victoria, okay. And tell me what you know about Coco. I, I want to be honest with you. I don't want to, like, bull you guys. I actually don't know that much about her. Tell me what you think of Coco. Do you feel like you know her? I feel like I've always wanted to meet her, and people always, like, compare me to her, of course, in my butt. People always compare me to her, but I was just like, I want, I want what she wants. I want what she has. So my doctor was like, stop here. You know, okay, you might, you might not, Aww. yeah. I don't even know if I want to go hit her or hug her. I don't know. What would getting this job mean to you? Well, I just meeting her would mean a lot. You know, you have to think that. I just want to be her. <laughs> but it would mean a lot. Coco's like, I have like 50 million pictures of her in my phone. Like, more than you should of your own boyfriend. Like, oh my god, a stalker. It's basically your world right now. I It'll love her. You don't understand. I, I love her. I know she has a clothing line. She has swap videos. I model myself after her. I have posters of her in my room. I know she was born in Tanzania. She married as you You know, when I went to the doctor, I was like, what size are Coco's implants? And I was like, I want exactly her same implants. Girls want the boobs, and then they want the butt. Did you get the same brand and everything? No. <laughs> when a girl says, she's my role model, she's this, she's that, to hear that they model after me is a great honor. So what do you think of Coco? I could be better than Coco if you put me in a show. You think you're better than Coco? Yeah! I mean, she's married Ice tea, she thinks she does reality, and she's a big butt. Is that it? Is that everything? I don't know. Actually, you guys take five. Hang out here on the floor. I'm gonna grab a Gillespie and a little chit-chat. Now that Coco's heard what people think of her, we're gonna give Coco her space so that she can get some one-on-one -on -one time with the dancers. Can you say cat fight? Me out. I just heard that you don't like Coco. I don't not like her. It's being funny. I know you like Coco. And you like Coco, and she doesn't like Coco. Why is she even even in here? I mean, like, who picks fights? I mean, really, I mean, if she's here, what, why are you here if you didn't like Coco? Coming up on Celebrities Undercover.
Are you ready for this? Because mm -hmm. I do an amazing Coco. Here it goes. <laughs> this is Celebrities Undercover. Triple threat talent Coco set out to see if people view her as more than just Ice T's trophy wife. So we set up auditions for Coco's body double for her Las Vegas show. Some girls don't know who Coco is. Some girls know a little too much about Coco. And one girl is about to go toe to toe with Coco. Okay. Why are you here if you didn't like Coco? Yeah. That's a job. Yeah. Why are you here if you didn't like Coco? Because I mean, I don't know Coco, but it's not like I don't like her. Ladies, please, let's try to keep things civil. It's all good. Let's keep it positive, ladies. I know. I'm pink. I think we're getting close to the end here. You gals, go ahead and have a seat. Mitzi, like your best Coco. Are you ready for this? Because mm -hmm. I do an amazing Coco. Here it goes. I'm sexy. I've got tits. I've got ass. And I am. Coco so much. I've modeled my career after her. I transformed my body to look exactly like Coco. Every magazine that she's done, I've done in exact same poses. She tore the wig off and she took her clothes off and then I looked and I was like, that butt, I knew it. Did you guys ever get an inkling? Yeah, but I can't do it. Nobody has a butt like that but her. <laughs> I, I didn't know it was Coco. I was at first surprised, and then I felt like a douche because I uh, might have said some things. They weren't like completely unpleasant, but no one wants to hear that. Thank you, you guys did an amazing job, honestly. I was like, it was hard to sit back, and I was like, watching everybody talk about me. I was so excited that they know my personality, and at the end of the day, there's so many more people that are lovers than haters. One girl got up and started crying and went in my arms, and I was like, oh, phew. They actually were overwhelmed by the experience, and then they loved it, and I was like, oh, thank you so much. That was funny. Like the funniest thing I've seen in a year. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. I was like, I fooled someone. Maybe that's uh, kind of a good actress a little bit. Maybe they, uh, maybe that helped. Today, Coco discovered fans, uncovered haters, and even met her own body double. Looks like Coco learned she's a celebrity in her own right. Next time on Celebrities Undercover. She's about as much of a countess as like the mattress king is a king. It was weird seeing these women talk about Luann like I wasn't there. What does countess yeah, mean? Does that mean she's a vampire? <laughs> What? What do you think about a housewife selling sex toys? I don't respect her for this. I can't take it. Well, do you guys think Candy's trashy? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hell no. She didn't just say that. For more celebrities undercover, go to oxygen.com. How you doing? Hey, hey, hey.